Hi guys, this is Medical Science Lecturer. I am very delighted to have you back. Today I will be teaching you on how to wear the female condom, also called internal condom. I will equally inform you on why you should wear it, when and where you should wear the female condom. Just to get you informed, in this channel, I give medical tips or medical education to my esteemed viewers at the comfort of their living room. I also run classes for students of physics, chemistry, and mathematics. In case you are new to this channel, please hit the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, drop your comments, like the video, and for my new subscribers, for my old subscribers, please, I am very, very grateful. Once again, my name is Dr. Godwin Obono. Let's begin. Welcome back. Like I said, today's lecture is how you can wear the female condom. The female condom looks like this. It's inside the spark. It is called female condom or internal condom or the diaphragm. It's also called a barrier device because it prevents the passage of sperm into the woman during sexual intercourse. And because it prevents pregnancy, it can be called a contraceptive device. What part of the body is this used? It's either at the anus or at the vagina. And at the same time, at what time, what occasion, or on what, what occasion, during anal sex or vaginal sex? And why do we use it? Why do our women use this? In case they want to prevent pregnancy or sexually transmitted infection, this can be used. So the purpose for usage is to prevent sexually transmitted infection and also to prevent pregnancy for which it is called a contraceptive device. Now, let's quickly open this pack. Now, I will advise you do not use scissors to do that. You can look at it carefully. There is a dentation, uh, it is dented somewhere here. Once you go there and do this, look at how I'm gonna open up the pack. The pack is open. I'll quickly remove the condom, this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. Remember I said before you open up, you should have checked the expiring date before you even buy it from any of the outlet. But now I have opened it, this is how it looks like. If you check carefully, it has two, two ends. It has two ends. From what you, it has two ends. This is one of the ends, and this is another end. One end is open, and the other is closed. So I will quickly like to describe the condom before we'll go into demonstrating how it is insected. Now, if you look at this end, you discover that this end has this. This is what we call the ring, ring. So it has a ring. This ring is called the outer ring or the external ring. It is called the external or outer ring because this is the part that is outside the body of the woman. And how do I recognize that this is the part that should be outside the body of the woman? If you look at it, there is a hole, uh, there is an opening here. This opening, it's the opening that will take in the sperm. So, I mean, sorry, that will take in the penis. That means the penis enters through this opening. So, once you see the, the end that is open, that end that is open is the outer, that's the outer ring. And that's the part that the end that has to be outside the woman. Now, if you look quickly at the other end, the other end is sealed, it's not open. And of course you see there is a ring here, but this ring is smaller than this one. So this is the inner ring. The inner ring is at the other end. It is called the inner ring or the internal ring. Why is it called internal ring? It's because this is the, the, the ring that should be inside the woman. And again, how do I know that, that this is the end? That should be inside the woman is because it is sealed, it is closed, it's not open, as unlike this other end, it's not open. 
and it is not open because this is the end that will collect the sperm. So while it's inside the woman, after ejaculation, this end collects the, the sperm. It prevents it from entering the woman. So these are the two ends of the, the, uh, uh, of the female's uh, condoms. So now let's, let's see how it can be insected. Please permit me, let's use this as our female organ, the vagina. Please. This is the vagina opening. This is the vagina opening. Let me assume that this is the vagina opening. Please permit me to use this. So sorry about that. So now, like I said, this is how you hold it. The end that must enter should be the close end. You use your, your fingers, like I said, either three fingers. You can either compress the ring, which is the, the inner ring. You can compress it this way. And then if this is our opening, if this is the vagina opening, you now put it this way, put it in this way. As it enter, as it enter, you push it to the point that it will to where it will get to. Continue to push it until when it gets to the level of the cervix. When it gets to the level of cervix, of the cervix, and then the other ring, which is the outer ring, should now rest on the at the vagina opening. Let it rest this way. As you can see, it is resting this way. The ring here, the outer ring here, should not go inside. It should just ring rest on the skin, on the skin around the vagina opening. The reason is that this will help to prevent skin to skin tra transmission of infection from the, from the man to the woman. So that's why they, it has to, to, to rest or it has to be suspended this way. Now remember again, precaution you must take is that during penetration, the man should not penetrate this way, this way, should not penetrate this way. As a woman, be very sure he is not penetrating that way. Rather, penetration should be through this this way, the opening. Then after the entire activity, after ejaculation, and you want to uh, remove it, what you do is that you just come to this upper end, tie it, you tie it, you tie it, and then remove it. Once you've done so, you now discard it. You can see at the end here, you have the sperm there. You now remove it and discard. Now, that's for insection for vaginal sex. If you want to now insert for inner sex, what you do is you have to quickly remove the ring. The ring, the inner ring must be removed. Remove the inner ring. This is the inner ring. You remove it and then that means it has the end. Now the close end do not have the ring again. And then you put probably a finger here just a finger, then insert into the anus of the woman, and then let it go into a certain distance, and then allow the outer ring to rest this way before you can now uh, penetrate. At the end again, the outer end of the the outer end should be squeezed, and then you remove and, uh, and discard. Like I said earlier, that this is a contraceptive device. It means that it will help to prevent pregnancy and by extension, it helps to prevent sexually transmitted infection. Just to let you know that many guys, so many guys prefer the women to wear this than uh, they are to wear the male condom because that will not in any way reduce the level of sat satisfaction they expect to get. Again, this is some, uh, the insection can be done before interaction, sexual interaction, the discussion, it can, it, can, it can be done even hours. In order not to spoil your mood, because sometimes in the middle of romance, you may want to pause and then have it insected, and that may ruin your, your moment. So it's advisable, in order not to spoil your moment, to, to insect it hours, eight hours, thereabout, even more or less before sexual interaction. Thank you.